Hello, I'm Derek from the Terra team. In this video, we'll be going over what the Terra website looks like and how you can use Terra as a part of your data analysis pipeline. From the main page, you can access your workspaces, view showcase workspaces, or browse existing data. At the top left of any page, you can open the menu button to access these and other features of the site. If this is your first time using Terra, sign in and follow the prompts to register your account. Once you've done that, you'll be able to access and edit your profile from within your profile settings. You can also manage privacy and sharing through your group access settings, or change billing information in your billing settings, as shown here. When you visit your Workspaces tab for the first time, the page should be empty. This is where you'll find your own workspaces when you begin creating them. But until then, the Library tab will be your most useful tool, as it includes helpful links to get you started. You can access each of these links from within the Library menu, but they're also accessible through each of the tabs at the top of the Library page. Let's go over each of them now. Here, in the Datasets tab, you can access data from a number of public and restricted access repositories. You can sample from and import these data into your workspaces when you're ready to analyze them. If you're authorized to use restricted access data, such as data stored in Gen 3, you can link your credentials to your Terra account from within your Terra profile. In the Showcase and Tutorials tab, you can find curated sample workspaces to help you get started in Terra. This includes featured workspaces and GATK4 example workspaces that cover a wide range of use cases. These come pre-loaded and pre-configured with data for you to use and explore. We will also be highlighting new and interesting workspaces here, so check back often to see what we have. For first-time users, we recommend getting hands-on with our Workflows Quick Start tutorial, or try your hand at interactive analysis using our Notebooks Quick Start. Finally, in the Code and Workflows tab, you will find a number of GATK4 resources that have been optimized to run from within Terra. Additional workflows are available in the Docs Store and in the Broad Methods repository. These have been submitted by users and cover more specific analysis needs. For example, if you visit the Docs Store, you can find workflows created by any number of organizations by clicking on this link here. If you need help using the site or building your workflows, access the support menu, which includes links to how-to guides and documentation, resources for you to request a new feature, as well as a link to our community forum. If you can't find what you're looking for there, don't hesitate to contact us directly through the link shown here. This concludes our video. If you need help, visit support.terra.bio for more info and documentation. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you enjoy using Terra.